Well, tonight we are hearing for the man who was allegedly sexually assaulted by a Hollywood writer producer last year. The victim speaking exclusively with ABC 7 and now it is news reporter Leanne Souter is now here in studio with more from the victim. Leanne. David, for rape victims, going public is extremely difficult. I should say going to police is extremely difficult. Going public is something entirely differently, different. I spoke exclusively with a man who police say was raped by a well-known Hollywood writer and producer. The victim, who only wants to be identified as John jo Doe, is sharing his emotional story because he and investigators are afraid there may be more victims. I believe that he drugged one of my drinks took me to his place and then you know, I can't say the word. I can't say the word. I'm sorry, I can't say it. It is a trauma John Doe, who doesn't want to be identified, will never forget. The criminal complaint against his alleged attacker, Lawrence Andres, a well-known Hollywood writer, spells it out in black and white. Andres is facing six felony charges, including sodomy, oral copulation, and sexual penetration while the victim was unconscious by the use of a drug. Andres, who has worked on numerous shows, including Six Feet Under, Blue Bloods, and Supernatural, was John's mentor. The military veteran and aspiring writer says he met Andres at a writer's program. They became friends. That changed in June of 2022 when they went out for drinks. But I always made it very clear, like, I'm heterosexual, man. That's not, that's not me, okay? Like, but I never even thought I had to say this. Never gonna happen. John says his life as he knew it ended. He went to police immediately despite knowing he was putting his Hollywood career in jeopardy. He's coming forward now because he and investigators believe he likely isn't the only one to fall victim. John is sharing his story in hopes of helping others come forward. You still have a voice. He did not take that away from you. You have the power to use your voice to help to ensure that this doesn't happen to anyone else. If you have any information regarding Andres, you are urged to call the LAPD. He is due back in court in April. If convicted on all the charges, he could face up to 12 years behind bars. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.